the surgical masks and the N95 respirators are best used by our medical personnel. And there's a couple of reasons for that. It's to protect them from patients that may have COVID-19. Whenever our healthcare workers put on a mask, they have to do hand hygiene. They wash their hands 20 seconds, soap and water, or use alcohol-based hand rub. Put on a mask, and then they do hand hygiene again. Same thing when they take a mask off or a respirator off, they do hand hygiene, take off the respirator, take off the mask, and then do hand hygiene again. The Government of Canada has indicated that uh, some of those homemade masks may be helpful or may be beneficial. And the reasons why they might be beneficial are, are really twofold. First, if you have a mask on, you might be less likely to touch your face. And the second reason why, why masks might be okay and those homemade masks is that it can be a barrier to protect other people from you. It's important that people actually use them properly though. So if they do have a homemade mask or a non-medical mask, make sure it's of good quality material. Uh, they usually recommend two, two ply or a, a very tight weave. Make sure it has a good seal around the nose, the sides, and then the bottom as well. So that it does have an acceptable seal not to, to allow things to escape too much. If you put one on, make sure you do hand hygiene before putting it on. And when you take it off, at, at the end of, of uh, when, when you need to take it off, make sure you do hand hygiene afterwards. If it's a disposable non-medical mask, make sure you dispose of it in a trash receptacle into a garbage can. Nobody wants to be picking up your medical litter. If you take it home and it's one of those reusable cloth type ones, um, Put it in a plastic bag if you're out. That way you aren't having to handle it and it's not getting more dirty or that it's not dirty enough the rest of your environment. If you do take it home, uh, launder it. Uh, launder it in washing machine with soap, hot water on a hot cycle. Make sure it gets nice and clean. Make sure it gets dried out and then ready for use the next time you need it. Gloves are not a replacement for good hand hygiene. It's not an effective barrier uh, because they're not used properly. Um, hand hygiene isn't done before they're used. They're used for prolonged periods of time and hand hygiene isn't used at the end of it. People still touch their face, they'll touch their nose, they'll touch their eyes and their mouth with those gloves on. Do follow the, that good social distancing when you are out, either for, for recreation on the trails, because you know with the warm weather, it's important to be outside. Uh, follow the advice of public health and uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Um, if you are getting ill, please contact your family physician. Uh, contact 811 uh, if needed. Um, our medical staff are here to help you through this, uh, whether it's chronic disease, uh, mental health, what have you. Our family physicians are here to help with this.